Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. It's 517. Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you survived our kind of wacky weekend. Okay. Good news is we are almost just 24 hours away now from the start of the spring season. Spring officially arrives tomorrow, March 20th at 1015 in the morning. That's the point of that uh, vernal equinox or the spring equinox. So today and tomorrow we will have nearly equal portions of daylight and the nighttime. It's not quite even today. The sun will be up at 750. It'll set at 756, but we'll be very close. And this is welcome news to a lot of us, right? Who doesn't love this? spring season and it could probably not be more welcome for some folks that live uh, in the higher elevations of central and southern Idaho. Look at Brundage from the weekend. We're talking about 18 inches of new snow over the last 48 hours. They sent us this picture of the patio out there. May not be the best time to enjoy the patio right now at Brundage, but it's great for skiers and boarders. And then Kim James sent us this photo of uh, Fairfield over the weekend. She says they picked up about a foot of snow from the storm system that swept through over the last few days. So nothing spring like about that view. Now the good news is we do have temperatures that will be on the up and up. It'll feel a little more spring like by the middle of the week and then the bottom drops out again. I don't think Mother Nature is quite ready to accept that the new season has arrived. So we'll show you that in the extended forecast for today. This is about what we're going to get. We have kind of a mix of sun and clouds uh, throughout the day. That's what's expected. We'll have very light winds today. There's enough moisture embedded here in this zonal flow from west to east. We could pick up a couple of light little showers in the higher elevations. Some of those clouds that roll through may drop a couple of sprinkles. It's not really uh, going to be anything major, but it's possible out there. We have a uh, weak ridge of high pressure. That's what's going to keep us a little bit uh, dry, a little bit warm over the next couple of days. Not real sunny though. We do have cloud cover that'll move in. And then this is what we're watching that'll come in on Wednesday and Thursday. We'll get the warmer air coming out ahead of it. But then by Thursday, we do expect rain, kind of a windy, rainy Thursday, even though temperatures will be very up near 60 for Boise, but then behind that system comes in colder air. We'll just be cool and unsettled again this coming weekend. So maybe enjoy the milder temperatures by the middle of the week, even though it's not going to look all that pretty necessarily. It'll feel pretty nice. OK, so here's what we can expect for this afternoon on the cool side, but seasonably so. This is where we should be 56 for Ontario and Caldwell today, 54 for all of you in Cuda. Mountain home, you'll get to enjoy 52 degrees with partly cloudy skies. We'll just call it a mix of sun and clouds kind of coming and going from from time to time. In the mountains, there's that chance of some showers popping up, little to no accumulation. In fact, I'm just calling it flurries for Idaho City. Maybe some actual snow showers could develop, but it's not going to be anything big. Mostly cloudy skies, a little chilly in McCall, a high of just 37 there, 40 expected in Cascade this afternoon. Kind of the same story in the East Central Mountains. It's only a 20% chance. It is a very slim chance of some snow, but there is a possibility a few flakes could come down. A high of just 36 for Stanley. Fairfield, you'll struggle to get to 40. We're looking at 39, the high there with some light winds out of Fairfield today. So some of that snow could melt away really slowly. It's not going to be real sunny today to help out, but still temperatures at least will get above freezing. 50 for Gooding today and 47 in Twin Falls with light winds and partly cloudy skies. So again, a pretty predictable, calm, normal mid-March day on tap for most of the area. Now tomorrow to kick off spring, we get cloudy, a touch milder, 55 degrees are high tomorrow. Then we'll have midday sunshine on Wednesday. Here comes that rain on Thursday, though temperatures will be comfy. Highs of 60 there. Then there's a chance over the weekend we could even see a couple of snowflakes again for Boise as Saturday morning's low will drop down into the 30s.